because the tide is pushing in and there's only one way to the bigger, better island and that's across a sandbar. And I don't have very long, so we gotta go, boys. Let's roll. <laughs> With me. Let's go. Oh! Big jacks! Big jacks! Oh, oh yeah, big cod! Got my best hunting buddy Strider with me right now. Whoa. Oh, big blue bone, big blue bone! Oh. There's a turtle right there! <laughs> big turtle! I'm after a big flathead blue bone cod, anything like that, even a pelagic later on at the high tide. We're running out of time. Go, 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 go. Whoa! We just watched a big fish go straight into this hole. So I'm getting in there with my bare hands and I'll see if I can get him out to show you guys. Yep, he's right here. Oh, you can see him. You probably uh, see him through there. Yep, look, look. Can you see his head there? <laughs> yep, got him. Got him now, just have to get him out. Oh, it's a good little side. Yeah, here we comes. Here he comes. Oh! Oh my god! Call this little bluey with my bare hands. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I'll let him go. Wow! Blue bone with the bare hands. Never thought I'd say that out loud. Go, go. <laughs> We're almost at the next island. Yeah. Oh, this will do it. This will do it, Strider. Oh. Whew. She's getting bloody warm out there. Good girl, Strider. How you going? Look, Strider loves it out here. <laughs> <laughs> I fell over. Oh, check this out. A brand new lure. Bit of line there. Look at that. Oh, I have an idea for the cook later on. I can reuse this line. Yes. When I was a grummet growing up doing all this kind of stuff, I wasn't as aware or as passionate about it. So I've learned my lesson over the years and years, years, just being out here and being stuck straight in the heart of nature. Oh, just went through a spider web. Whoa, look at that. I just went straight through that spider web. 
So maybe realize that it's fine to take a feed, it's fine to do what you love, fishing, diving, bow and arrow, I love it all. But always just take what you need for a feed and enjoy it while you're out here, enjoy nature. Anyway, let's keep hunting. It's like a cave system here. Mm, that goes back a fair bit. Could be a dingo den. <laughs> Look at that. That's teeth. That's the jawbone of something. Look at all this bait fish in here. So bloody cool. <laughs> Huge eagle ray. Coming right at me. It's coming right at me. Oh my god. Hey fella. Oh, it's coming right at me. These guys are usually super timid and super shy and would never normally get this close. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, okay. Oh. Whoa. Oh. A little bit later on, depending on what I get, I'm gonna cook up one hell of feed. So hang around to the end of the video for that. But until then, we're gonna go hunting, baby. That sun is just creeping up right now. That tide's pushing out. seen crabs like that. No, look at his nippers. You'd know about it if he bit you. He fell off this end of the spear. It's around here somewhere wounded. I want to find it quick and put him out of its misery. Oh man, it's wounded. Got it. Got it. Got it. Look at that's good. Ah, we're eating good tonight. Look at this, Trotty. I got dinner finally. I've been trying for so long. It can be very painful and full of bacteria, starting to make the fingers go a little bit numb. But I love this shit. Woo. <laughs> ah. Ah. ah, it's fruit on my foot. Ah, take it out. Take it out. Ah, oh, it's in my foot. Oh, I put it back down in the water so it survives. Oh, hey, aren't cowfish poisonous and venomous? Oh. Should be fine, but Jackson's just gonna go run and check. We actually have no reception here, so <laughs> I'll be right. Just for now, I got a bit of mud on my wound there. I'm gonna cut off my shirt here and use it as a band-aid. Just want to stop the bleeding. It's not too bad. It's not a very deep cut. It's only a nick, but for some reason, if you get done by fish or whatever, 
It bleeds out. There you go. If you guys want to get your adventure shirt, youngbloods.co, doubles as, ah, that hurt. Doubles as a band-aid. Knife are online as well, youngbloods.co. Anyway, we got a flathead to cook. Let's keep moving. Whew. This is gonna be basically a little table or a plate. It's gonna be perfect. It is time to get stuck straight into this cook. I've caught up with Jacko, he's gonna be helping me do all this. He's bringing the goods, some fresh bed, curry paste. This is the flathead right here. I'm about to go fill it and I'll explain a whole lot about this. I've also collected stuff along this trip because as soon as I found this lure with the line, I knew what I wanted to do. We're gonna make like a teepee over the fireplace and hang the pot here via this line. I've collected some shells with some bowls and plates and all that. And on the menu is a flathead fish curry. Let's get stuck straight into this. I'm gonna fill it this bugger up over there. Let's go. Flathead are quite difficult to fill it. I'm gonna show you a technique that I use personally. There are a few different ways. It might not be right for you guys. You would have noticed that I got spiked by the flathead. They are venomous, but they're not deadly to humans. These spikes here, there's one gnarly one at the front there. That guy there, and these two on the side here. By tomorrow, my hand's probably gonna be fat, bruised, and in a bit of pain. Everyone reacts different. My hand that got stung and has gone a bit numb now is my dominant hand, so I might not do an amazing job, but I'll try. So we wanna go straight up there, all the way as far as you can. Flip it over, another cut, the same, same thing. I'm gonna be using this whole flathead in what we're cooking with this curry, so there is a bit of leniency there if I miss a bit of flesh. Once you've done that cut, you can flip it over and sort of come down on this side there, like that. So you get to the guts there, like so. You can actually just pull that out right now, but we'll wait for that. I just wanna do your best to hug down along the fish, all the way towards the end, like this. And taking pretty much all the meat off, that's quite a good, nice fillet there. And that is what a big flathead steak looks like. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna cut those ribs out, sort that all up in a minute. I'm gonna do the other side, and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do with the head and the rest of the body. I've had to swap hands here, <laughs> but it's all good. Straight down like that. Ooh, there you go, there's the other side. Chop this, take that out, pull the guts with it, chop it there. Righto. There you bloody have it. I'm just gonna clean up the head here, gonna take the gills out, prep that up, with the wings, the sides, and the frame, and all this here is gonna go in with the curry and then Beautiful. So I'm actually gonna make like a tripod out of the three sticks and this fishing line that I found before, probably even utilizing that lure. The idea is to find a couple of sticks that lock in like that. Anything with a Y or anything, they're always the best. Bit of grip down the bottom there. And this third stick as support. Anyway like that, maybe like that. Oof. Oof. <laughs> so I want to actually dangle the lure down there a bit because I'm going to hook on the pot onto the hook there. If you can't tie knots, just tie lots. <laughs> right in the middle there. <laughs> That's perfect. Look at that. Whoa. I think that's gonna work, Jacko. Yes! Ah! This is wet. There it is. There it is. Come on. Come on, sweetie. No, 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 no. There we go, a few small sticks. Don't want to make the fire huge. Ah, it's so hard with a numb hand. There we go, yes! Whoa, we have fire, baby! You can do this in all different ways, different things, but when you're out camping, everything just tastes better. So I'm gonna go fish first, curry paste, coconut, and then the veggies. I don't know, like, they're pretty generous. Kind of want it to stew a little bit longer than the rest, especially the head. That's gonna add so much flavor, and I'll pick away at that later. I'm gonna leave that for like five or 10 minutes. And double bang it like that. Like that in our little shell plates. 15, 20 minutes, it doesn't really matter. And, ah. Oh, oh. 
Oh, <laughs> chucking some rice in. Pre cooked, of course. <laughs> All leads up to this bloody moment. Can't feel my fingers at all. I'm stoked. There we go, I want a bit of everything there. Oh wow. Oh, there you go. That is absolutely beautiful. That flathead just like melts in your mouth. Oh, I need to give a strider a little bit. Oh yeah, here's strider. Eat off me boot there. There you go. Youngbloods.co for all your merch if you guys want to show us some support. That's a bloody wrap, baby. Cheers. Ha ha ha.